<laughs> All right, back to it. Okay, so we were waiting for our next level circuit to be made, as I recall. Loud. Maybe that'll be good. All right. Okay. Uh, there it is, the industrial computing unit. So I'm gonna put that on the filter here, so that'll come out. But before I do that, I get this filter so that we can set it to take uh, take this and deny list. So now we will deny sending music still too loud. <laughs> can never get that quite right. So we can deny the full circuit uh, looping back around, right? And so then the actual circuit will go that way. So that way if we imagine, well, that's not a good test, right? But we finish it, finish processing, it comes, goes through here and it comes out this side. And then we need uh, I'm wondering why there's no quest um, pop-up thing, but we'll fix that in a second. Input from the back, auto input. One industrial computing computing unit, done and done. Um, right, because we didn't, we needed 16 Calorite pins. And we only had 13 in our hands, apparently. Whoopsie. Well, there's four. I guess I'll need to make some more. Um, probably the easiest thing to do here is get more water and process more uh, iridium. Could I use cells to do this? There, now I have 16 buckets of water. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> Let's go make some more pens. At least they don't have to be electrified. All right, seven, I need nine more to get credit for the quest. All right, what else What else do we have going on? Oh, we need to go fetch some viridium um, and something. What is this? Oh, we just have to check mark that and then pick up the olivine. Okay, well, 12, I guess, oh, here's something we can do here. So I put the sign here. So we don't need this anymore, this um, andesite alloy production. The um, thingy, the, <laughs> The brass factory over there produces andesite alloy for us. So we don't need any of this anymore. Um, actually, what's interesting is that I disconnected this and that has stopped this as well. If we uh, if we ever want to run this again, we'll need to figure out some other power for this. But I think for now, I'm just gonna tear all of, all of this stuff down. And we'll have these parts available for something else because the brass factory produces andesite, andesite alloy, alloy for us. We don't need this here anymore. Oh 
my inventory is full. Mostly. Get that sign back now. All of this stuff is empty too, so we can just tear this all, all out. And we're a little less cluttered, and we can see that we have 167 gas tiers sitting in a box here, for some reason. And Enderman has left us a, a grass block. Some reason I had a jungle log over there. I'm not sure why. <laughs> All right. Um, so with pens should be done now. There we go. Credits. Do we use the Calorite pens for anything else? No, they have no uses apparently. All right. I'll toss them all here. We will have to make more machine parts if we want to make more of these. Uh... Did I leave it over here? <laughs> uh, there we go. Quest completed. Industrial computing unit. Aw, oh, man. More of the circuit garbage. <laughs> and we get some decorative blocks that I don't care about. Uh, and some optional things we could do. Um, but to get to here, we need to go and fetch some viridium and then check off these things. And um, this is not too bad. I'm going to get one of those. So how many? <laughs> oh, we need four. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. So to make one, to make this matter fabricator, we need to do what we just did. Well, the, the circuit production, we need to make three more of these. OK. OK. So, we need to automate machine parts. Um, first and foremost, that, that's what that says to me. We need to automate machine parts. Because uh, uh, each, each one of these, we need to make... Um, actually, let's think about that for a second. Hold on. So, machine parts... It's eight wire and a carbon mesh and a steel plate. Makes four. If we, and we need to like do three batches, but we have a little extra. So potentially either six or seven of these. So maybe like a stack of wire and then eight and eight to get a bunch of machine parts. We could probably just do this here. Oh, did we? Oh, look at that. We made eight steel blocks. Awesome. Okay, so anyway, maybe we, we don't need to automate it more than we have right there, but we do need to make more. We have three carbon mesh. All right, so we need to superheat carbon fiber. See, it's two per thing, right? So that's two, three, four. Okay. Let's try that. Let's make those. And a bucket for some fuel. And that should go until it's done making the uh, carbon mesh. And we're going to make some more steel plates. Sort of. Again, the recipe's busted, but it's not going to stop me. One, two, three, and... Okay, so seven plates I think I'll make.
grab a stack of wire to go with that. And I felt like I was going to do something else, and then I got sidetracked by thinking about needing... Oh, right, so... <laughs> um... This is going to take a minute. The thing upstairs is probably already done. So let's go check on that. It's not turning anymore. Seven. Okay. Looks good. Do we have more steel dust? Let's get that going while we have fuel uh, going in there. And then let's go attend to this other stuff. Starting with the, the viridium, see if we can get that going, and uh, then we'll come back and attend to making more circuits. I might also need to make more ostrom plates um, as well. We'll see what what's what, but I, I don't think it'll be a big obstacle to uh, to get there. So I don't know if we have viridium just kind of sitting here, unfortunately. There might be some buffered upstairs, but probably not. It's all getting crushed as it goes. Yeah, I don't think there's a buffer up there, so... This is probably the last buffer before it goes up and turns around and gets dumped into the uh, crushing wheels. So let's can change this so we don't auto output and we'll accumulate viridium here for a little bit and we'll just pick it up once we have a stack. Now, is there anything that's uh, preventing the production of viridium? Really nothing. We get, we're backed up on seared stone. This seems to be doing okay still. It's uh, it's accumulating smooth stone, but it hasn't backed up yet. We we aren't even. Are we delivering fuel here? I guess not. So the fuel that I brought over here manually is still enough. I mean, at the end of the day, this is pretty small scale, right? We have one melter processing three clay balls at a time, producing a little bit of clay. Um, on the other hand, you know, we're not exactly out of copper. There's a huge backlog of copper at the um, brass factory. So... I guess this scale is the right scale. Um, there we go, we're at 11, we need to be 64. 64, all right. Well, while that's going, let's go back and work on the circuit some more. Let's just make the uh, best use of time as we can. The cars are great. <laughs> no risk of being, uh, very little risk of being hurt by the trains. And vice versa. Okay, so. Actually, do I have Austrian plates sitting in the storage unit above the compressor? That right there? 
I have four. Oh, and steel plates. All right, so let me cheat in seven Ad Astra steel plates in exchange for these seven non Ad Astra steel plates. All right, give Saban Ad Astra steel plate seven. Sounds like it did it. There we go. Now, to be fair, this may be fixed in the current version of the pack. Uh, the version I'm playing on the server and locally uh, are a few minor versions behind or patch versions or some, something along those lines. I just have not really bothered to uh, update because it had been, other than this bug, working fine for me. Okay, so there's one, we need two more of those. So we need two more integrated circuits and a bunch more electrified pins. Like 128 more electrified pins. And we have 11. Okay, so let's get more gold. Gold. Let's aim for like two stacks of nuggets. Ish. In, in, in. Okay, and then circuits. Okay. And then we can pursue making more machine parts. Took me a, a minute, <laughs> a, a few seconds to think of the right word, but yeah. And there it goes. And then more fuel. Great. And then these go in here. Oh, there's 20 something. So we needed like 100 more pens. And we have three plates. So that should be good. Deliver pins as they come in. And might as well get this going as well. 33, only three machine parts. So we need more machine parts just to let this first one finish. It'd be nice if I could see what was going on in there. Uh, the other thing I could do is I could put a... Um, food storage unit on the front of this and I could risk interrupting the process by just having it auto pull from the back or I'll just wait for it to finish and I'll have this pull machine parts Alright, 28. Is that enough? I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe. Oh, can I have all of them? There we go. Great. And now we're waiting on more... Nope, we're not waiting on more pins yet. We still have 26 in there. That's going to loop around for a bit. How are we doing on lithium? Lots. Okay. So we're we're not short on lithium for this process. Um, what did I come down here? Oh, yeah. Pens. Okay. Still processing. We have more. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think we have enough of everything here to make all three additional industrial computing units. Once we have the rest of the pins up here to make the advanced integrated circuits. Yeah, so this one went through. There we go. Now we have two in process. Not done yet. Goes around again. Nine times around for this to work. Okay, and... I think we might have enough pins now. Right, right, because by the time I put the, the um, pins in last time, there was ones left over in here, which means there was at least a stack in here. And it was while the circuit was in place. So there should be 64 pens for the circuit. So that should finish processing. We have a oxygen plate in there for, for it. So we should get one more advanced integrated circuit. And then we can throw it into the loop to process. And that'll be our final industrial computing unit to make the matter something or other. What are we making in? <laughs> the matter fabricator, right? Um, okay, so while we're doing that, iridium alloy plate. Oh yeah, so here's the thing. Right, so let's go back to the quest book. There's this thing on the side, iridium alloy. So iridium alloy ingot is made from four lead plates four iridium plates and one diamond dust. So we need to make that. And in fact, every data storage chip needs one of these iridium alloy plates. And we know we need four of these. So we need four of these. So we need four of these. Okay. So how many diamonds do I have? And how much diamond dust do I have? Diamond. Okay, I have diamond plates. Can I... Nope. Okay. I do have diamonds, though. They're in the house. Now, here's a question. Do we think... Do we think that the um, viridium is up to 64? Uh, maybe soon, maybe soon. So let me grab some diamonds from the house and then we'll just continue on down and check to see if we're up to a stack of viridium. Just get a few extra. Right, because each one of these takes a diamond dust. The diamond dust is made in the... Well, we can grind gear in the industrial grinder, but we can grind diamonds one to one in the grinder. So... Click the wrong thing. 
All right, back to the Acacia Pyramid Factory. That's what it's called. Uh, let's go this way this time. What do you mean, 17? All right, so this isn't chunk loaded. Um, I can chunk load this area, probably. There we go. All right. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that'd be why there's only 17 produced there. This area is not in the spawn chunks and was not force loaded. So, all right, back to working on the iridium alloy ingots and sheets. So continuing a thought that I was uh, expressing earlier, in a, in a future playthrough of this, if, for instance, we had to like start over in a new world um, with this pack, I, I might not focus on a bunch of disparate builds interconnected with rails unless there was some strong motivation to do that. I might at least start with a focus on having kind of a um, a central factory that you know things are kind of tightly packed in and interconnected and just use buffers and um, the advantage of having the trains is kind of this the decoupling of the different factories means that more factories can be built and trains can be used to tie things together in a in a way that it's effectively a big uh, kind of queuing, buffering system. So that seems really nice, but it does mean there's a lot of stuff to build to like connect all those things together versus just everything's in one big queue building factory structure with belts in between. Everybody likes spaghetti belts, right? Okay, so... We are making iridium alloy. We are not making iridium alloy. Uh, oops. We need to make iridium plate. And the most effective way of doing that is with iridium blocks. Do we have iridium? We have raw iridium. Raw iridium can be put into the blast furnace. I see, I see. Okay, so that's what we do with it. So how much raw iridium do we need? Well, it's one to one, right? For the plates, and we know we need four of these. So we need 16 iridium. We have 11 there. Let's go, there might be some more up here waiting for us. In the, uh, over here, in the grinder. There is lots of raw iridium and more calorite, awesome. Uh, we could probably just continue to process that in the in the grinder for now. All right, while that's going, let's get in here into the blast furnace. Now that won't do anything while. Is there not enough heat? Blast furnace. Industrial blast furnace. 2000 heat. 1860 heat. Okay. How do we do this? 
How do we make it hotter? Hmm? Oh yeah, here's the recipe for the uh, industrial blast furnace. It takes two of these advanced integrated circuits, copper coils, electric furnaces, etc. Right, and this takes 3,000 heat. How do we how do we get more heat? See, this only takes 1,500 heat. That's why this works, making steel dust. Is it based on what's inside of the multi-block? A different way of making the iridium ingot. Okay, what are the uses of raw iridium? Okay, what are the uses of blocks of raw iridium? Nope, okay, worth the shot. Um, okay, blast furnace, 2000 heat. How do we make the blast furnace hotter? What's hotter than lava, right? So inside of the multi-block, there's two blocks of lava. So, okay, I may have to just Google this. One second. Um, tech Reborn. Um, industrial Blast Furnace. Blast Furnace. Uh -huh. The hole in the center. Industrial. So, I mean, the, the wiki for Tech Reborn suggests that the multi block construction tells it the heat. Right, so these are all standard machine casings. But there's also advanced machine. Uh, let's look for casings. There we go. Standard, advanced, and industrial. So I think we might need to replace some of the blocks with advanced machine casings. I think I'm just gonna make a bunch of steel. Um, Oh, I, I can't make, um, ooh, tungsten grinding head. Anyway, uh, I was looking to see if there was a recipe that where you use the steel block. Hold on. Can you take molten steel and pour it into, uh, cast it into a sheet? Nope. You can make sturdy sheets from it. <laughs> Uh, okay, so anyway, stack and a half. Uh, I'm just I'm gonna make a half a stack of steel 
uh, sheets that I'll then have to cheat in because it's, it's busted. But uh, yeah. In the meantime, let's pass the night to keep stuff from spawning as much as possible. Adjust my posture uh, as well. There we go. And uh, how's this going? Did we make all the things? Some of the things? There we go. There's two more. I think there's one more circuit waiting to be thrown into the mix. We have 13 and 15, so, and lots and lots of lithium. Are we, are we using lithium or is this duping? How much was there before? <laughs> are we, hold on, Let, let's watch this. So this was uh, 25444 and 3681, 25444. Two, five, three, eight, eight. Okay, so we are using lithium. It's just not using a lot. Great. Lithium for days. Okay, so that is going to make our fourth uh, one of these industrial computing units that we need in order to eventually make the matter fabricator, which is the thing that is going to then unlock astral matter, refined shimmer. This is an astral matter. UU matter is a substance which can be utilized in the synthesis of various items. However, it can be harnessed into something even more powerful. Start with mixing this with a superheated burner and some shimmer to form a few chromatic compounds. What's fun, oh yeah, thanks. There's no recipe for this, right? Um, but presumably, can we hit U on the, nope. So you just have to know that the, the uh, refined shimmer is in fact UU matter made by the matter fabricator. Input rate 8.1 KE. Okay. What's gonna be fun is once we get the stuff to make the fusion system, we're gonna have so much power. Uh, I've been doing some testing in creative and the just, you know, fusing things together um, produces enough power to like, I mean, it's self-sustaining. I mean, that's the whole point of like a, a sci-fi style fusion reactor is that it would be self-sustaining. Otherwise, what's the point? Um, it's no, uh, anyway. Uh, all right. So I'm going to take these 12 for now and I'm going to ditch them and I'm going to give myself 12 of the right kind of steel plate. Uh, all right. Give Sabin. Add Astra. Steel plate 12. Sounds like that happened. There we go. And can I... I can just like, there we go, 2048 heat. Apparently, the amount of heat produced by the industrial blast furnace is based on kind of the heat tolerated by the machine casings that you use. Um, that was not exactly spelled out in the wiki, but it was kind of, I guess it was, it, it seemed like a, um, the thing to do. All right, so now we get iridium ingots. <laughs> um, all right. So we're gonna, we're gonna process all this. It's the only thing to do with it, right? Is to put the raw iridium into the blast furnace. So we'll do that. Is there more over here? Yeah, there is. Processed a lot. Let's get all this in here. All right, so we'll have a stack almost of uh, iridium ingots, which will be enough to see us through these next set of things. And is this done as well? 
It is. That went pretty fast. All right. So. Um, now we need to, maybe the viridium is done now. <laughs> and yeah, four of those. We can make these pretty easily. Um, we're working on this. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, that's already been marked. Okay, we have some extra machine parts, so we should be able to make two of those. Uh, we can make another engine. Let's grab a motor and a precision mechanism. And get some empty cells in there. How are we doing on so saltpeter and clay? So that's going to produce, yeah, that'll be enough. Once that produces and we get that clay in there, we'll have enough um, potassium and sodium to make more coolant um, because we need an engine to make the uh, matter fabricator. So might as well get that going. Extractors are no big deal. We can make those easily. Um, and data storage ship is kind of what we're working towards anyway. So we'll get there when we get there. We know we need four of them to make this. We'll probably need more. Um, well, I don't know. If we don't mind, oh, superconductor. Uh, we'll probably want the fluid replicator at some point. It's kind of handy. If um, I don't know, we'll see how things shake out as we as we get further. Superconductor cable. If we were trying to make a big fancy base and sending power from our fusion reactors everywhere, probably we would want that. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get that far into it uh, before we're kind of done with the, the playthrough of this pack. But uh, I imagine coming back to this and having more chapters and knowing there's more stuff to do, maybe with uh, a need for a lot more automation, a lot more stuff, maybe that would be something to do. Okay, let's see. What can I put away? I don't need those steel plates on me. Um, I don't think I need those wires on me. I'll put away the Calorite, Calorite Nuggets. I, I'm just going to put away all that for now until I have a need for it. Same thing with that. Keep that on me. Um, motor Precision Mechanism. So, oh yeah, there's still a motor in there that I could have picked up. And there are Precision Mechanisms over here. Yoink. Let's go, let's go motor and capacitor okay and then we just need the coolant that we are working on making the parts uh, the ingredients for there we go so potassium cells Okay, so that should be good. And so this is gonna go here. This goes, oh, we had capacitors. Well, now we have extras. <laughs> Motor goes there. And then we just need the coolant to go in that one. So I'm not sure at this point, going forward for the uh, the Monday night stream, I do really like the idea. It sounds really great to keep this as modded Minecraft Monday. Um, so I'm inclined to do that. Um, and you know, in that case, maybe the Mine Colonies pack that I was trying out this last Saturday might be something we could do here. Um, and you know potentially that could be something we could open up to like 
those that are following the channel. Just like carry over the whitelist if there was interest or make a new white whitelist or whatever. That could be an option. Um, and then which, in which case, I probably still want to stream on Saturday, but we might do kind of like a wild card thing then. I don't know. We'll see. It's uh, it's all um, something that we can uh, can be figured out. Oh, huh. that's really cool. You can see the sunbeams coming in from the setting sun, from the sunset, and then it's cut off by the windmill, the hel helical windmill on the outside. Oh, okay. Well, anyway. Uh, are we... There we are. Coolant. Alright, another engine. Alright. How many? I think we needed... Um, eight? No, because we need one of these for each of these. We need four of those in total. Each one of these takes four Iridium plates. So we need 16. So four more. <laughs> it's gonna take a minute. Uh, what else can we prep? So we got that going. Uh, we can see if we have advanced machine frames or the things that make advanced machine frames. Okay, machine frames. So we have basic machine frame. Advanced machine frame is lead plate on basic machine frame. So we have one of those. We need two. So we need one more and we need some lead. <laughs> and we need steel plate. Okay. And we just need one more basic machine frame to uh, bring it up to speed. Should go pretty quick. All right, what else? Anything else? So we could make the extractors. These also require basic machine frames. So let's get two more going. We got materials here for that. Yep. Okay, so here's the two that we're gonna bring up with lead and then steel. Nope. Uh, I thought it was. Industrial? Oh, it's machine parts. Not steel plates. Okay. You have machine parts, right? Leftovers? No. Oh, they're upstairs? Or they're... Well, I think either way they're upstairs if we have extras. But they're either in here, they're not, or they are... And here. Well. You know, I'm not going to leave two in there. Because that is going to be um, kind of useless. Because you need at least nine. Right? To go around. It goes around nine times. Alright. Machine parts into an advanced machine frame. Gets us an industrial machine frame. <laughs> Saban has reached the, the goal in game. Craft an industrial machine frame. Okay. There we 
go. And... Got some additional machine frames there. Because we need extractors. So we need eight more tree taps. Hey, I remember doing this at the beginning of the stream. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. All right. So now we have everything except for the data ship storage. Do we have um, mechanical crafters? We just need three, right? Hey, there's a task. Where was that? Was that... Um, oh, right there. I see. Do we have soft membrane? We got one. I see. Okay. Whatever. I don't I don't care about making the elytra anyway. Um some vegetable soup. What are we doing? Where are we? Oh yeah, we're waiting for iridium. That's right. Alright, so now we have enough. So there's all of the Okay, 20 steel plates. Oh, that's not set up to uh, auto output to the top. It's not set up to input from the bottom. There we go. Okay, so hopefully this recipe works. Uh, but let me go ahead and destroy these 20 useless steel plates. And I'll uh, cheat in 20 of the right, right ones. Alright. Give save and add Astra steel plate 20 all right sounds like success all right and i guess i had two on me already so there we go and we have our first two iridium plates take a little bit to get the rest but um they're useful all right at least we don't have the same problem for these other plates. So there's that. Okay. Uh, let's sleep. So, do we think the viridium is done? <laughs> um, so the reason I made the, or grabbed the mechanical crafters is because for the dead storage chip, we do need three mechanical crafters. Uh, set up to make this a thing and then we want to grab a cog all right well, i'll grab that one and we'll connect this up and i guess i'll disconnect that for now I'll put that there so it's not connected and uh we'll turn this this way and we'll set up a crude storage unit. Put that there, input from the right. Um, and we'll set up three more crude storage units, might as well. Here we gotta put these toolboxes over out of the way. There's nothing in them apparently. I don't know why I put them on the floor. Oh, there's... Hey, there's a blaze burner in there. Um, that might be relevant <laughs> at some point. Uh, pork, less so. All right. Um, I don't think we have... We only have one of the things to put in here, but we can put these in here. Configure that. Output back. Auto output. Cool. Copy. Paste, paste, um, we will need, ooh, this might be good. Let's grab some shafts, and we'll get some power to these crafters. Maybe another cog, probably have some of those in there. 
Just do this now while I'm thinking of it. So that'll be much easier to, uh, you know, keep the show on the road. Uh, and besides, we might not have a stack of Iridium yet. Probably do. Oh, that's not lined up. It's not lined up at all. Uh, and this is the wrong direction. It needs to be going up. What am I doing? Okay. So this, of course, is not going to do anything if the materials are not in, in place for the craft. So that I'll just sit there and use energy that we have for the spare anyway. All right, so let's go. All right, now we have enough iridium plates. Now we need uh, lead plates. Uh, 16 lead plates. Can we just press this? Yeah. The uh, compressor is busy anyway. We might as well keep on compressing that. We'll put that there. There we go. That's doing that. Uh, let's go check on the viridium. Yeah. All right. Now I, I'm I'm thinking that by the next Monday stream, I will have a good sense of whether that stream will be able to like get all the way to the uh, astral singularity or not. Um, so based on kind of the the legwork between now and next Monday, um, I'll either say whether the uh, the next stream, like when I put the, the stream title up next Monday, uh, if it will be the, the last stream for Create Astral, I'll put that in the, uh, the title of the stream is like finale, final stream for Create Astral or something like that. Uh, and, and maybe it won't be, I still need to like figure out exactly, um, the specifics of the, the last steps. Um, like the only thing I really looked at is like how the fusion, um, uh, control computer and the multi-block setup works. Where am I going? I need to be going this way to pick up the uh, uh, olivine. Um, so the specifics of like how much stuff is needed to make the astral singularity, um, TBD. Right, so uh, like I said, I dumped out <laughs> All of the olivine that was in the train and uh, grabbed it up in this storage unit. So we got lots of olivine. More than we will need, I suspect. But on the other hand, that also emptied out the train. You know, it, it was kind of clogged up with all that stuff in addition to the copper that it was bringing over to the factory. Ah. Not completely paying attention. Thinking about weather. <laughs> uh, don't need that wrench in my hot bar. So I think... We'll have to look at what the quest book says, but I think that I just need to hold like a stack of the olivine. So I'll just put this here. Nope. Okay. Quest book says check mark. And then that. Okay, we just needed 16. And then we need to make sheets. All right. So this is a little bit different. We need to superheat um a blaze burner 
with a thing and a thing. Okay, so... Hmm, we got some options for that. I'm thinking I might just make a separate thing for this operation rather than changing around our existing place where we're superheating to make uh, steel. Uh, which means we need a basin and uh, a blaze burner. And uh, a crank. I think there was one of those up there, but whatever. And we'll just do this by hand. Squeeze this in in the corner. Why not? Um, there we go. That works. And a bucket of fuel, please. And it goes. Mm. All right, and that's it. That was four sheets. All right, and it's one sheet per thing, so now we just need to make the iridium alloy. And yeah, we could we could automate more. We could like automate making uh, all of this stuff. But for now, I just want to make what we need to make the matter fabricator. All right. <laughs> uh, so this goes in the top, and it gets locked in. And then the last thing for the data storage ship is the radium alloy. Okay. So pick up our lead Come over here. And did we, yeah, we ground all the diamond to dust. There we go, there's four. <laughs> and then this is made with the compressor or the implosion compressor. So we use the compressor and there we go. We're doing it. The last ingredient to make the data storage ship. So, once we have four of those, we can make, uh, let's double check here. There's only one dependency, right? Yeah, data flow into, with big power comes big responsibility. The matter fabricator uses 2,000 units of power a tick. That's a lot. Two thousand units of power a tick. So one thing I did do, I think I did this off stream. I made a second MFE. I'm pretty sure I made one on stream. Oh, we're out of power. <laughs> Interesting. We've been just using so much power. There we go. Uh, sunset. So we may need to figure out how to get more power or we may just be kind of waiting for stuff to charge up. But here we go. Our first um, data something or other. Data storage ship. Get that in our, in our inventories, there we go. Thank you. 
All right, so we got four of those, and it's time to make the matter fabricator. <laughs> I've completed the challenge, something from nothing. Craft a matter fabricator. All right, now, are we, we're still not charging. Where is all the power going? Where is all the power going? I think all this stuff is charged up, right? Um, does this passively use power? I mean, that's possible. Uh, what else? Oh, this stuff might be running? No, it's fully charged. Uh, this. Oh. Okay, so the industrial blast furnace is using a ton of power, uh, but we don't need any more iridium right now. So let's. Um... Hmm. I might just disconnect this for the moment. That keeps its charge, right? Even when it's disconnected from the system. So there's a, a very high quality battery in every single machine that retains all the power. Um, and eventually these will... Where is the power going? If it's not going in there, where is the power going? Uh, we're using 1FP per tick to run this. Can we run this slower? Well, I could if I could actually see the control, but unfortunately that's not really possible. Let's turn that off for a bit. What else? Fully charged, fully charged, fully charged, fully charged. We're not using power in any of that stuff. So... Does this use power even if it's not connected? It's still 1FE, 1FE per tick. So let's just leave that disconnected, in which case I can leave the cog turned the right way. That's funny. So this even has a little battery inside of it. But anyway, maybe we'll have stopped using power? Why is this not charging? Um, did I put the... No, I did. Yeah, that's the right number of SU. Yep, that's all fine. Why are we not accumulating power? interesting, isn't it? Something passively just using power? Oh. Interesting. I guess, so with all the machines turned off and only the ME system running, we are just barely running a surplus. And I think basically our ability to do all the all the stuff with the machines today has been perhaps running off of the power that we built up in the MFEs here. Uh, we may need more power to make this actually practically work. Um, but in the meantime, 
Let's just plug this in. <laughs> Tear insane. Right, so this uses 2000 energy a tick. We have 8000 energy in. That's like four ticks. It can run for five ticks. <laughs> Uh, we we may have power issues, but in the meantime, let's take a look. What can we do with the matter fabricator? Uh, nothing. <laughs> uh, we we probably need to look at the quest book. Uh, ooh, so calibrate broad blade is sharp. Has uh, looting one. If we wanted to make a sword, we could do that. No reward for making this. That's too bad. Uh, and then the next step is to make refined shimmer. So, but before we get there, we need to do these two things. So we need to make a recycler. For once, not, not a big ask. And then we need 256 scrap. Scrap recyclers can produce anything from scrap pretty much. Why do that when you can produce stacks upon stacks of it to only convert it to you, you matter? Wait, what did that say? Turn any random old garbage into useful scrap. Okay, that's the recycler. So let's look at scrap. Has no use. Scrap box has no recipe. Has a use to make a scrap boxinator, which has no use. These um, recipes and uses for these items are, are not super helpful, but uh, probably just, I will need to look at the Tech Reborn wiki. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at, can we make the recycler? We just need to make a compressor. So we need a basic machine frame and it look like a um, I keep on clicking on the wrong thing. There we go. Need a mechanical press. It's another block of iron. As you do. Uh, are we out of power? I think we're out of power. Yep. The um, matter fabricator has drawn all the power we have available. And now the MA system is dead. Let's uh, supplement power here some charcoal device online for a minute uh, let's see mechanical press make and compressor we need a basic machine frame Another couple of those. Hmm. So we have a little bit more time in the stream today. Maybe something we could look at doing is seeing if we could expand our our power production here um, like we have fuel right we have lava coming in we have a steady supply of lava we could expand the boiler we could the first thought I have is to take the power from the windmill and devote it exclusively to providing power for water pumps for the boiler and then well, it's a problem. It's a problem because um, of how chunks are loaded. Probably what would be better is forget the windmill and have a um, a battery of some kind, like an MFE or a battery box and a electric motor that pumps water into the tank, into the, the boiler to keep it going. 
um, when I was messing around with different power setups before. That's kind of what I had landed on because then you have a reliable buffer that doesn't rely. <laughs> you have a buffer that doesn't rely on having the boiler already running, um, and you have a means of. It's easier to perhaps easier to jumpstart. So anyway, um, we are making a recycler. Something else that needs power. <laughs> I guess we can put that here. One man's rubbish. Place down. Uh, place a recycler down. Okay, cool. Ew. <laughs> Is what I accidentally typed there. Seems apropos. All right, and uh, it doesn't take a lot of power. So what do you do with a recycler? My impression is you throw stuff into it. So like, can we throw a compressed cobblestone in it? We get one scrap. Did we get one scrap? What if we put one cobblestone in it? Ah, okay. Interesting. So it, it seems chance based because it's not always doing it. Okay. Let's, uh. Do the whole crude storage unit thing. And. I know I have everything else going bottom to top, but that feels kind of weird. Let's do cobblestone in the top, or whatever. Mm, probably just cobblestone for now. And we'll put scrap in the bottom. Definitely lock that. And then we'll configure input to read from the top. And configure output to go to the bottom. And then configure input uh, top auto input. Configure Output bottom, auto output. So we use a little bit of power and we make scrap passively. All right, and this is chunk loaded, so this will keep on running. Um, we should probably look at expanding our power generation now. Um, I think for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to take that um, electric motor back. <laughs> and we're going to use this to power uh, things. So I'm also going to disconnect the matter fabricator. It's it's charged up 222,000 out of 10 million. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to disconnect all that. And we're going to get the electric motor down. And we're going to use this to uh, have a steady supply of water. That seems to be um, mechanically one of the biggest obstacles here for supplying um, I guess really both the lava and the water. All right, so that's what this in case shaft is doing running at um, 160 rpm hmm how do i want to do this i guess i'm just going to tear it all down <laughs> we're going to go here and we're going to go we're going to say 192 and then we're going to get some power over here, like so. And uh, I think I'm going to set up uh, MFE. All right, that's not going to do anything anyway. It's all, um, a lot of this is going to go, I think. But I'm, I'm not going to tear it down yet. We're going to get this part running, and then we'll go from there. Um, OK. So, nothing in this one anyway. Can we use the wrench to uh, pick it up? Yes. Okay, so I want this MFE over there. It's kind of our battery backup. 
And then um, I want an alternator over hmm, two I. Where is the power going, right? I guess to the uh, to the energy cell here. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, I do want I do want to grab one of these alternators. One of these is producing a lot less, a lot less power than the other one. All right. So we're gonna use this to run power directly off of the SU from the windmill over here. Like so. And that speed we're producing 3 FE per tick. And then now we're we're buffering, we're charging power. And then we're gonna run a cable over to our electric motor. Yeah, yeah, I like this. I think this is going to be good. I don't know if that's going to be enough cable, so let's make a little bit more. I do have some concerns about having enough power. To run that, okay. So that uses 11 FE a tick, and this is producing three. So yeah, we're out of power. Um, so we can run this slower. Now we're using three, and we're producing three. So that might be turning, I can't tell from here. It's hard to say. Uh, let's see if I get a different angle. Yeah. Um, it might be going the wrong direction. So we should see water coming in. There we go. And now we're overstressed here. But now... Yeah, overstressed. So the problem right now is that we are. Okay. We are. We need to be using the power from here that's overstressed to charge this, this battery up too. Now, how do we do that when this is as fast as we can turn? Um, well, one thing could be to disconnect the other pumps outside, the ones that are pumping lava, so that we can increase the RPM temporarily. The other thing we could do, like, we should have more SUs. Maybe we could just increase the speed. Like, if we, if we give up on this generating power for us here and instead yeah now this is, has a lot more Speed, so should, we should be able to produce a lot more uh, FE per tick in our alternator. All right, so seven. So right now this is three per tick. If we go up to here, that's seven per tick, which matches what this is generating. So now we're still overstressed. Um, 
Can we reduce the stress of things so that our, hmm, see this is able to run. Now this is able to run? Okay. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to have this connected and excess power is going into this MFE. Uh, I might be confused about how this works. Obviously the power from here was getting over to here. Why are we not accumulating power? Uh, perhaps something else is sucking up all the power? Like uh, an ME system? Like this battery? No. Like the ME system? Maybe. What if we disable this for a minute? Where is the power going? Let's also disconnect that. Where is the power going? Wait. Um, I mean, some power is being used by the recycler, but surely not that much. It's almost done anyway. So where is the power going? <laughs> uh, okay, that's all disconnected. That's fine. Okay, so we are accumulating power here. That's good. That was the point to have a buffer to ensure that we are... Oh, a little lag. We are... Um, keeping up. We could go... We need to go faster. We should be able to go faster because we have a surplus there. 192. There we go. Now we're where we were before in terms of boiler status. And this should still go up because now the whole system is producing more power. So there's more surplus to go into this battery. So the idea here is that if the boiler should ever be interrupted, what we can do is we can turn off the things that are using power from it and then lower the speed of this, bring it closer to zero, um, until just the power from the windmill will supply enough power through the system to power this. And now, now we don't need this other stuff. So we don't need this. We don't need this, or that, or that, or or that. There we go. So I got a little, uh, uh, quite a bit simpler over here, with the addition of uh, the use of electricity. And now to scale this up, we can add uh, more fluid pipes. We can add more liquid bl blaze burners. And uh, that will allow for more heat. And so then we can increase the speed of this further. Uh, until the point where we've reached like negative 256. And then we'll have to add uh, another electric motor. Um, or at least another uh, pump. Yeah, another pump and another pipe at least. I think that's the main constraint. How do I get out of here? Like I can walk through it that way, right? Okay, so 
Uh, we, we're slightly over, technically maybe over time. Uh, let me fix <laughs> the, the power situation here to connect this back up so we can access our ME system again. There we go. And let's see, do we have pipes? We got one, can we make more? Okay, do we have a, a straw? Yep. Do we have a blaze burner? We got one. So let's see what adding one to the system does. Wouldn't that be nice? A little bit more power. Let's do that there, do that there. Give it a straw. It will eventually get fuel. Pump to it. Real soon now. There it is. And now we can go up into the tick of heat, which means we just need to increase the speed of our water. Okay, now we have room to add another blaze burner. And um, probably here, we could probably just add another uh, steam, uh, another steam uh, engine to here to get more stress out of this which would then allow us to add more alternators to the system to get more power out. So, do we have the steam engines in here? Steam. Yeah, we had, we had a couple. Um, right, so on this, you can see it says we are stress capacity 81 920 SUV of four engines. 16384 is the max SUV you can get out of a steam engine. So, I mean, some, some quick and dirty math. 16, 32, and another two on the other side, that's 64. But the total stress capacity is 81. So four engines isn't gonna get you all the stress capacity out. Um, if I can figure out how to navigate through this maze. There we go. Now you can also see, they're still extracting 16,384 SU, which means, yeah, there was that extra capacity for, from the boiler at level five. So now we have extra SU. Uh, if we were to reconnect some of the uh, things here, like this, you can see we have 23,000 SU remaining capacity in this uh, kinetic network, shall we say. So we can add another uh, alternator, which, hey, we have more alternators. Um, just need to figure out where to add that to. I guess right there. And then there. And now we're generating an extra, you know, 15 FE per tick. And what's our stress capacity left? We still have another 15,000. So we could do another, like, two more alternators on the system um, as it is. Well, if, we, if we reconnect this, we could do another uh, one more alternator at this speed. Is there anything else disconnected? Look at it go. All right, so there we go. More power. <laughs> Uh, what's that doing for, how much scrap did we need for the quest? 256, okay, so let's, ah, what's, uh, what's going on here? Where'd all of our power go? I thought it was, uh, I thought it was good. Perhaps this is preferentially taking the power from the system. I guess that's possible. Uh, if so, then eventually this will fill up and then the other one will fill, hopefully. I don't know. I guess. If I can get out of there, there we go. Uh, we'll find out next time. 
How's that for uh, end of episode? Okay, um, I guess I'm carrying all this stuff with me because I can't put it in the, uh, the ME system either. Whoops. All right, well, let's just get it off the hot bar. Probably need to get some more food at some point, but uh, that and everything else, well, the food I'll probably do in between streams. Um, I will probably also check in on the power situation here between the stream and the next Monday one. Uh, in addition to doing some stuff in creative, figuring out kind of next steps to get us across the, uh, well, to the, to the milestone, let's say, of making the astral singularity. So until then, that's going to be it for today. Thanks so much for watching um, either here on Twitch, uh, now or in the future in the VOD or on YouTube later. Uh, thanks so much. Take care. Until next time. Bye-bye.